This is my Tesla Model X from uh, June 2016. So it's like, um, it's getting close to two years old. And uh, as requested from my followers, I will show you guys my disgusting driver's seat. Yes, so uh, this car has done uh, about 150,000 kilometers. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the odometer. Okay, 149,000 something. And uh, you wanna see what that is in miles? Okay, there. 93,000 miles, yeah, roughly. So that's a lot during uh, almost two years. But you see, I've been using this car a lot. So here are the seats. Now, most of the seats are looking great. Let me show you. Because they are not much in use. Uh, most, most of the time, I'm the one driving. Uh, the only one in the car. So you see, the back seats are almost as good as new. Yeah. And we can also see uh, the third row here. This is a six-seater configuration. Also very nice. Almost no wear and tear. Uh, but, and also wifey seat here. Okay. This side here is also pretty nice and white, like it should be when it was branch banking new. Okay, the problem is the driver's seat, yes. So you see that these are supposed to be the ultra white seats. Yeah, and they look like brown-ish. I guess there must have been a brown guy sitting here. Well, <laughs> at least it was yellow. But where do we start? Where we can start here, you see, we have some schmutz here. Um, so probably because I sweat like a pig and I eat like a pig, I, I eat and I sleep and I drive in the car. Uh, this side is even worse. Uh, you know, okay, I haven't been uh, cleaning it too much, but I'm gonna do a quick clean afterwards to see how bad it is. But look here, we have wrinkles in this fake leather. This is not real leather, this is fake leather. Uh, and they are perforated and we have ventilated seats. So this is um, this option here is dis discontinued. You don't get that anymore in uh, Teslas nowadays. Maybe they figured out that uh, this construction was too weak because you see here, I guess there's a lot of pressure on my butt right there. And then it starts tearing. This happened like uh, 50,000 kilometers ago, about, about half a year ago. Uh, I have another video uh, at, I don't remember how much that was, 120,000, but I don't know, it, it seems to be worse, yeah, since then. And here also starts more tearing, uh, because of course you don't have a, a continuous leather. Uh, there are like, you know, lots of perforations, so that's why um, it's, it tears easier. But then we see on this side here, this is pretty bad. Lots of tearing here. And why does this happen? Well, because I enter and exit the car and I rub against this side. Because you see on this side, we don't have any of that. It looks almost new as long as we clean it up. So the problem is the way I enter and exit the car. And you can also see here, we also get more tearing here. Uh, I guess if I wait long enough, it will also be as bad as over here. And on this side, you see, almost no wear and tear because I, I don't, I mean, my, my legs are around here, so I never touch that side. But on this side, I, I rub over this uh, one when I enter and exit the car. Uh, over here, you also see some more tearing. So, yes, I know what you guys are thinking. Holy crap, man, this is a piece of shit, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, only in less than two years it starts uh, ripping apart. Well, that is true, but you know, I have driven this car a lot, but I also saw a video of uh, the seat, the, the, the real cow leather seat in Millennium Falcon. I have an old video that not many people have seen. And in that video, just look in the video description below, I, I checked the car at 230,000 kilometers, two years, and it had less, way less damage than this seat. Um, why is that? Well, I have a very good explanation why. Um, normally, when I drive this car, I use a trailer. And with the trailer, you have uh, worse range. So that means that 
you have to charge the car way more often so that means I have to like I don't drive that long distance before I stop and recharge uh, and also back in the old days we had less superchargers when I used Millennium Falcon so naturally I enter and exit well I haven't done like the exact calculation but I guess I enter and exit the car way more often because also with the trailer I have more tasks with me and I I know I deliver stuff I pick up stuff and just just when I park at the supercharger you know I have to go outside maybe unhitch come back in again I plug and then it, no, I have to you know park the car unhitch go back in and then back up the car to the supercharger stall plug it in and then go back in again so you know there, there are lots of in and out compared to uh, my model s without the trailer so but still of course um i think even if i didn't use this with a trailer it shouldn't be this bad so my impression is that uh, this this type of leather this type of seat is not as durable as uh, the the real leather seat and non -perf like non perforated seats yeah but uh, okay so you i think you have seen enough You've seen how bad the color is over here, over here. So I'm gonna try to clean this and uh, you can see uh, the difference after cleaning. I've done some rubbing now and I didn't want to rub too hard too long because uh, then I don't know it maybe it could take damage from it but um, I mean let's start with this part this one is pretty bad it was pretty bad it looks nicer now but I mean how bad was it before well we shall see oh shit okay so that was uh, that was good yes um, <laughs> what about this middle part here okay Oh, okay, not too much. Yeah, so the middle there was was not too dirty. Like, you know, as expected, this edge here is very schmutzig because I move in and out all the time. And uh, that also means that this part here should also be pretty dirty before compared to now. Okay, let me see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay, what about the last one here then? Um... Whoa, whoa, oh, ah. okay, but um, I guess I'm going to clean up the rest and uh, yeah, but you know, so to explain a little bit about these seats, you know, I have a warranty case with these seats already from 20, uh, 31st of May 2017, that's almost a year ago. Uh, this seat started squeaking. I told Tesla about it. That was within warranty time, you know. Um, and they said, okay, they're gonna order a new seat. And then it's been almost a year now. <laughs> and I still don't have a new seat, but okay, well, I mean, the good thing for me is that it will be rip the whole day. Instead of fixing that squeaking, they, they said they, they were gonna order a new seat for me. So, well, one day, I don't know when, in two Tesla weeks, I will get branch banking new seats and i think they still have to manufacture these because um, uh, even though you know it's not possible to get perforated uh, ventilated seats anymore they still have to manufacture them or have them in stock somewhere yeah so um this video <laughs> you know the previous video i said that that video might be the last video about the seats uh so well, i can say it again that uh, this video might be the last video i make about these old seats but we don't know so um yeah I guess uh, that's it for now, so talk to you guys later.